one like all right what an amazing audience and what a fabulous lineup of speakers hi i'm shilpa kultrest game changer coach and i help mid career professionals fill the gap between where they are in their career and where they would love to be it wasn't always like this i was the support person just the support person the one on the side the one without personality presence or voice the quiet water carrier the food bearer the one setting out chairs before a gala event the one wiping the sweat of people playing the game of extraordinary life in photographs with my best friends you would find me at the end of the line just making it in almost non existent in 2017 when my inspirational husband was speaking on stage i happily clicked pictures of him from all angles click 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 and then it clicked me how long will i keep taking the photographs setting out the chairs working silently in the background for others why can't i be up there too right from the very beginning from my college days i had this fascination for stages the action the drama the energy around it i loved it all but i always told myself that's not for me i did not have anything interesting to share and besides besides i'm an introvert to give a 2 minute presentation in front of my batchmates once i prepared for it for weeks and even then i fumbled for the right words i obviously wasn't a natural at it and my mind just knew to take my boring self on the side so that the more interesting the more charming and the more charismatic ones can come and take the center stage i designed myself the side lines and the shape My shell was great. Let me tell you, I had a well-settled job, 16 years of career, a wonderfully supportive partner, two bright children, and a lovely home. When people came over, my extrovert husband he ran the show end to end, and he let me be comfortable in my silence. And over the years, I learned this art of finding peace in savoring everyone's energy and excitement. while they all had fun with me walking in the background to fill in some minor gaps everything in my shell was loud and spoke for itself <coughs> spoke for me mm. i was safe there mm. and it felt nice mm. nice mm. nice yeah, my friend was something that's nice don't fix it if it's not broken i stayed cool very comfortable in a tiny corner of my life realization number 1 it is easy for introverts to belong to the shadows and justify it quite in large groups taking a back seat in social settings smiling politely and waiting for my turn introversion is a pretty good excuse to stay in the comfort zone but have you realized that while waiting for your turn while allowing everyone else in the queue to jump before you you resigning yourself to the last bench and you may be stuck there forever but by allowing everyone to dump their jackets coats water bottles caps hats unwanted stuff all over you you letting them lighten themselves so that they can go and run up that stage while you stand there with all that burden by letting things go unconfessed unresolved you losing your voice day by day are there any introverts here in zoom a lot yeah could this be true have you experienced it yeah so let's let's focus on what is introversion the definition of introversion and here comes realization number 2 the definition of introversion has got nothing absolutely nothing to do with sticking to the sidelines to be in the shadows 
It is just about how we charge ourselves. Introverts charge themselves up by plugging into their meal time. Extroverts, they charge themselves up through other people. Energy exchange. And it has always been very amusing for me. After a crazy day out with a set of people that we both love, me and my extrovert husband will have very different energies. He would love to wrap the day up with some more conversation with a cozier set of friends, leading us to the dawn. Whereas I would every single time choose to sit down in my happy, fulfilled, grateful state to pin down my thoughts. That is how we charge ourselves. But that's it. That's the only difference, nothing else. Introverts. This world is not only an extrovert sandbox. And they do not expect us to skirt around the periphery. Right, extroverts? Yeah? There's so much more available to us introverts. So much more. So, so, so much more. Provided you want it. And I'm well aware, I'm well aware of the web of voices inside your head telling you that you do not have the substance, the competence, or the capability to run the show end to end, entirely on your own. Because that was my life. The Chotu guy, the one on the side, almost non-existent. I didn't matter. My existence didn't matter. The one without own ideas, perspectives, opinions. And then I started my entrepreneurship journey with my husband. As usual, I just knew the shadow. I belonged there. And a tiny corner next to him was my space. Every day, I would wait for the big guy to get up and do all the big stuff. Well, I supported him. Supported. And then it happened. One day, we were hosting a 90-minute masterclass for prospective clients to enable them to create the next big thing in their career. He was traveling in from Melbourne to Sydney, where we stayed, and his flight got delayed. Now that meant that he would arrive 45 minutes into the session. So picture me, picture me pacing around, pulling my hair out, not knowing what to do. It was almost time to host 200 plus registrants and the main host behind the scenes, the only host was missing. I could literally hear my heart beat in my ears. I didn't know what to do. About 100 rounds of my living room later, I decided. I finally decided that I will hop on and apologize to the waiting audience that we need to delay the session by two hours because of an emergency. Just then, my 15-year-old daughter asked me, why do you have to apologize, mom? Because it's my responsibility to the people who trusted. Came back my reply. And then it struck me again. The people who trusted, those 220 people had trusted both him and me and were waiting for a light bulb moment to spark their lives, the career's biggest transformation. They were my responsibility. I'd seen my husband do it n -H times before, so content wasn't a problem. Courage was, confidence was, certainty was. I asked my daughter to make me a cup of strong coffee. And centering myself, I began the session alone. 90 minutes passed by, and I didn't even realize. I finished the session and stepped out to find my husband who had made it back home with a wide smile. That smile said a lot. We had our highest client conversion that day, our biggest sale. <laughs> so typically when we think about introverts, we tend to believe that they will have a natural tendency for behind the scenes operational work. But ooh, ooh, it's my husband, my extrovert husband, who is the master of operations technology, systems, all the silent stuff. 
and sales. And it's me, the introvert, who's the face of business, branding, connections, relationships, and partnerships. That's my forte. How did that happen? How did the tables get turned? Well, that day. That day started a storm, a war, a revolution inside me. I took an unbelievable way. Owning the center. And that hunger to move from the shadows, from the hiding space where I belong, four years, took me to some of the best stages in the world. Addressing audiences in the size of thousands. Keynote speaker at corporates, Fortune 100 companies, global forums, schools, colleges, universities, across the globe. Being invited to multiple talk shows, radio shows, TV, top 100 podcasts, and getting multiple awards as a global person of influence. All the while, while I fumbled for the right words, I still fumbled. And that brings us to realization number three. You may not be the best speaker in the world, or even in this college, but who says that you need to be? Who says that? If you stand there, with an intention to contribute, if you proudly adore all your human imperfections, if you add massive value, your audiences will fall in love with who you are. And if there's one thing that you want to take from this talk, let it be this. Focus on the center. Taking the front center seat as an audience, standing in the forefront for a dance class, Pilates class, Standing right in the middle for group photos. Hopping on the center of stages to see how it feels from here. And let me tell you, the view from here, it's amazing. And you've got to be here to experience how it feels. I missed it for years. You've got to be here. And now, here's what I want you to do. Stand up. Please, everyone, stand up. Close your eyes. I want you to imagine that your next unveiled version is standing to your right. That unveiled version is full of charm, charisma, expression, and has a presence. That unveiled version is looking to massively contribute. That unveiled version is oozing with energy to rock the stage. And now on a count of three, not before, Step to the right. One. In your mind, again notice that powerful version of you standing to your right. Two. Take a deep breath, for you're about to be that person. And three. Step to the right. One step physically to the right. Now you are that person. Open your eyes. And you've got everything within you to rock that stage. Send the stage, it's all yours. Thank you.